Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. Welcome to Boring Reviews, booze. Boo here. <laughs> that rhymes. Nick here. <laughs> and what do they call me, Jody? They call me the muscular man without any muscles. That's right. All the muscles have uh, transformed into some kind of gooey substance that keeps me warm at night. We are here ready for another song reaction. Do you remember the, the movie or the song reaction to the movie Cal, Cal Hold No Naho? Can't say that. About the the guy that was dying and he was setting up his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to check out the title song to that movie. Ooh. Tomorrow May Never Come. Still haven't watched the movie yet. Sorry. I'm still very interested in, in watching the movie, no lie. So we're going to check out this song. It's obviously Indian romantic drama film of the same name as this song. The lyrics were written by Javed Akhtar, one of our favorites. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be that fake. We don't know. And, um, anyways, we're going to get into this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And, you ready for this? I'm ready. All right. So, I'm curious, because this is the title song, if we're going to get a, a little bit of a, how boy met girl. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Or if they're already established together. And, uh, it would be interesting in a movie like this. If you had the guy that he's going to set her up with eventually, where he's like really jealous of and he doesn't like him, and he's like, oh, who's this guy I think he is? And later on, oh, he might be a good fit. So we're going to see all about that right full screen. Oh, I can already see the sadness in his face and the, having hit play. There's like longing. He's sad because he did not get to see the muscles. Pretty much. <laughs> or the, or the, the booze. Muscles. Or the booze. Here we go. That first part reminds me of Willy Wonka. I know. Right? That song, yep. I think I have actually heard this song before. Not as a reaction, but just heard it. It's a cool shot. It's like he's the only person there. Right? That's New York, right? It's gotta be with that bridge. Yeah, there. It's in New York City. Oh, there's the boy. There's a friend. So they were friends at first, right? I didn't know. Yes, yes. I think he's supposed to be her best friend, but she falls in love with the neighbor. It's Des R.K. who then sets the two of them up. <laughs> so clearly he likes her. It's crazy how different he is in this than from what I know him in Sacred Games. Oh! Has an interesting friendship. Yeah. I think this is after he dies. When I think title song, I think it's the beginning of the movie, but maybe it's not the beginning of the movie. I don't know. She doesn't... Because she doesn't he's necessary. singing to her, but she's not there. No, it's true. Or he's not there. She doesn't see him. He's wearing white. I think white looks good on him compared to the black. I agree. Julia. Dinner ready? Nah, uh, not tonight, darling. Michael? Yes. Don, we're married. It's okay, I don't mind. What? That's the same guy, though, right? Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> what is I'm 
going so on? Confused. <laughs> so confused. <laughs> सोच लो इस पल है जो वो दासता कल हो न हो हर घड़ी बदल रही है धूप जिंदगी छाव है कभी कभी है धूप जिंदगी हर पल यहाँ जी भर जियो um, I'm wondering if like he did like her and was like hoping he could be with her but then that hand thing with the other girl makes no sense yeah Jeez. Hmm. Sad at the end right there. I mean, obviously that's where he was like diagnosed. So, I mean, we had the subtitles there, which we really appreciate. But just looking at the visuals there and not the subtitles. What was with that scene? I know. I know. Because my thinking is, okay, I know that she supposedly from the summary, if I remember right, when we read it a few days ago, last week, she liked him, her neighbor, but he knows he's dying, so he sets her up with her best friend, who clearly likes her. But it's confusing going at the beginning where she's kind of like messing around with her friend, like he clearly likes her, but she's like, eh, to all of a sudden her like smiling and being happy with him. I don't know. Super confused. No, I mean, I understand that, but it seems like... The biggest confusion was it looked like Safe Ali Khan, who she ends up with, he was saying that, hey, we're married, do you mind? To a different woman who was not her in the elevator. Yeah. And then he was like, hey, baby, what's up? No, hey, baby, what's up? And here, hold my hand. Um, I don't know. That was weird. I, I get the rest of the stuff. I feel like he's singing. He's like, you know, things don't last forever. This may not be here till tomorrow. Let's take advantage of this or that. And then he gets the bad news and... It's interesting how he 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 acted in that scene where you know the nurse basically sees this and it's, it's not good news and he kind of smiles at first but then he starts to cry a little bit almost as if to say like you gotta be kidding me. He, I thought he really performed that really well because that was an interesting way than just like no. I've been watching a show on TV called La Brea, which is actually a pretty good show, but the acting is atrocious and bad acting will take you out of a show or a movie very easily. I really like the way he acted in that moment. The song was a very beautiful song. I've heard it before. I know I have. I don't know where, but I know I've heard it before. Very, very nice song. It was just that one moment was so odd and so weird. Yeah. Obviously, I have to watch the movie to get more context, but if you could explain just that one sequence we're talking about, sequence we're talking about below, we would really appreciate it. What would you think of the song itself? It was nice. It was very calm and relaxing. Um, I like the more upbeat songs. They're a little more like, you know, you can kind of beat with them. But this one had a nice story to tell. It obviously was yeah. playing a very different role. It wasn't meant to be an upbeat song at all. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I agree with you. I like the upbeat songs too. I'm not a big fan of the slow romantic songs, but I really, really like that song. I would say it was a, it was a beautiful song easily. And you can't really use that word or adjective too much. Great song. Thanks for the recommendations. Please let us know what you want us to listen to next. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time. Goodbye, Biz.